Grace tells Taylor she's not dying of heart failure. Support this channel, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Today on The Bold and the Beautiful, Hope extends an olive branch, Carter asks Hope out, and Brooke gets a surprising update. In a doctor's office, Taylor hugs Ridge and thanks him for encouraging her to get checked out. She restates that she has heart failure. Ridge says Grace is a good doctor and may have a game plan for them. You're going to make it through this. Grace Buckingham opens the door and asks if Taylor is ready for her test. Ridge asks questions and Grace explains that the results will come in quickly and they'll get some answers today. Ridge is pleased to hear this. They'll find out what they're facing. He's going to do this with Taylor every step of the way. Taylor follows Grace out the door, but pauses to smile at her ex-husband. At Forrester, Hope tells Steffi it must be nice to have her mom back. She knows she loves having hers around. Steffi tells Hope her mom has a positive influence on her life. I don't know if you can say the same about yours. Hope grits her teeth. She was trying to bond over them being close to their moms. Steffi doesn't think they have anything in common. Her mother is a psychiatrist and Hope's is a lingerie model. She doesn't want to argue with her, but she wants her to know that her mom is back in town and she'll be spending some time with her. Hope asks to leave her mother out of it. They agree they don't want to get back to Team Brooke versus Team Taylor. Hope is truly sorry for pursuing Finn. I've apologized, and I want you to know that it will never happen again. Hope insists she's being sincere. She's embarrassed about her behavior, where Finn's concerned and doesn't want to disrupt their family. Steffi wants to believe her, but that doesn't mean she does. They discuss the Forrester versus Logan rivalry. Pope says they're all family and should start acting like it. It's important to both of them to set a good example for Kelly and Beth. It's about time they leave a better legacy. Steffi nods thoughtfully. In the design office, Carter tells Brooke how amazing the numbers are for her line. Brooke teases if he's buying lingerie for anyone and asks where things stand with him and her sister. Carter confides that he suggested something to Hope that might give her line a boost. What if we align Brooke's bedroom with Hope for the future? Brooke likes it. She thanks Carter for thinking of Hope, who doesn't get much support around there. Carter thinks she's very special. At Bill's place, he thanks Katie for coming. He doesn't want to wait. Let's spend the rest of our lives together. Katie reminds him that not long ago, he was living with another woman. Bill says it's over with Poppy. It's no secret that the woman he wants to spend the rest of his life with is standing right in front of him. Katie thanks him for saying that. It means a lot to her to know he want to give them another try. Bill thinks they can succeed and thrive. He knows how to be the husband she needs. Katie tells him she's thought a lot about this, and it's not going to happen. You've left me for my sister more than once. She's sorry Brooke's not available, and that Poppy didn't turn out to be what she seemed. But she can't be a stand-in for either one of them. She has been stung too many times and can't go back. At the hospital, Taylor rejoins Ridge and tells him that her future could be determined by the test results. They look into each other's eyes with worry. She tells Ridge that she's glad he's there, but she still doesn't want the kids to know. They debate whether she's wasted her life. Taylor didn't realize how short-lived the best part of her life was, the early years with him. She doesn't hold anything against him or Brooke. Ridge says those years were special. Taylor tells him that no matter what the future holds for her, she wants him to be happy. Ridge grows frustrated when she says she knows this could be it for her. At Bill's, he understands why Katie feels that way, but their son is back in town. It's a chance for their family to reunite. Katie says maybe if Will was younger and begging for his parents to be back together, she'd be willing to take that leap of faith. But he's grown, and he's not begging for this, not at all. She cries, I'm sorry that this isn't what you want to hear. She does love him. Bill says, I love you. You're my Katie, the love of my life. Katie swipes a tear when Brooke is not available. 
she thinks actions speak louder than words. She says she's past all of that and likes their relationship the way it is. She'll always want what's best for him. With that, she exits. Good Time star John Amos died from congestive heart failure. In the main office, Steffi gives Hope credit for not wanting to be like her mom. Hope's trying to.